Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to something a little bit different today. We're going to be taking a look at the new features coming to the FIFA 19 gameplay. So what I will be doing is having the trailer play out all throughout the video and that gives you a chance to watch that. It allows me to speak with you guys and share my opinion. So if you want to see more of these types of videos, leave a like. And if you are needing game codes or anything game related, head over to gsway.com. Use the code Fuji on that side to get a discount on every single order and let's head into it. So what I'm going to do is read out the new features and then give you guys my thoughts on it. So the first one, active touch system. This new system fundamentally changes the way you receive and strike the ball, enabling closer control, improved fluidity, in movement more creativity and increased player personality so i like the sound of all of it the improved fluidity in the movement like i'm not saying that neymar feels terrible on the ball but if we have uh, maybe a, a few more exits so you're unpredictable in the way that you dribble and you have control then that's just going to increase the skill gap because let's say i go on fortnite and i have no idea how to build which is true i'm gonna get absolutely crapped on so that's why i think that there should be some sort of real skill gap in fifa um not to overcomplicate things but just to allow us more control so first touch gets an overhaul with a new tool such as disguise touch interesting flick up volleys what is that going to be something similar to the Akotcha flick you know how you just hold up or hold uh, towards the way you're running with a five star skiller and then just, just flick it sky high maybe it's not going to be as overpowered as that but just rolling it over your uh, foot flicking it up and then taking it on the half volley that could be interesting or skill specific animations like the Neymar trap so that you can stay one uh, touch ahead of your opponents and create scoring chances. So I think what that's telling me is it's leaning towards FIFA 19 dribblers and with Neymar as well being on the cover with Ronaldo I believe it is. Yeah if we have um yeah, if we have that control over the ball, so really you're looking just to shift and create the space to get the shot out, and it's all about that on the game, then those that have really good dribbling are going to be the ones to go for. So that's just going to suit me. I like to skill, I like to enjoy myself on the game, and I will really grind out and learn how to dribble and how to uh, move the ball effectively. So I like the sound of that, but if the servers are still bad, then you're not going to be able to control the ball as you would like anyway. So EA, this sounds really good. Sort your servers out. Moving on to the next one. Dynamic tactics. So this gives the player the tools to set multiple tactical approaches, deeper pre-match customization, the new options for in-match adjustments. Each tactical approach combines uh, formations, mentalities, and attacking and defensive play styles so that you can easily customize your play in any situation. So I was looking on Twitter last night and one of the guys that used to work for EA, uh, he said that they've got rid of part of the bus. Now, I don't really believe that's the way to go about things. I think the part of the bus was a little bit of an issue, but I've always said it all along. It's in football, it should be in the game, but if you choose to play that really defensive negative style as soon as the game kicks off, then they should be bringing in mentality. So if you have it in part of the bus, instead of allowing people to be able to pass the ball properly, you have to put them into the mindset of being a defensive player, or just focusing on defending, clearing the ball. So that comes with maybe uh, lowering the uh, passing percentage because you're rushing your play you're wanting to clear your lines don't be uh don't allow your opponent or don't allow my opponent to be as effective on their attacks because they just uh, have got they've got one thing in mind which is to clear their lines so that's what um it says here really is um each tactical approach combines formations mentalities and attacking and defensive play cells so that looks really promising I like the sound of it and I think that what they should do with the custom tactics instead of showing us the values which not many of us really understand what the ins and outs are they should have it so there's a separate screen you go into your custom tactics it brings up the screen on the pitch and then you can see exactly like the positioning where you're setting your guys so for example if you have it as um uh, 60 chance creation you're seeing how far your player is going to be uh, going up 
it inside your opponent's box or sitting back or give us the radius of where he's going to be like rotating around the pitch i i think that's a great idea it won't be in fifa 19 but maybe in the future have it so we can see the heat map and know exactly where we're going to be expecting our players based on custom tactics and if they were wanting to take it even further if they're w wanting to make this a real esport they could have it as individual set custom tactics so you know how you have like 60 aggressions 60 pressure instead of having it so you're just setting that for your full team you could go specifically to your right back and tell him to be a little bit more aggressive your two center backs stay back a little bit just to fine tune and play exactly how you want but this is all great it's music to my ears really i've been asking for more uh, customization when it comes to tactics and that's what they're saying the mentalities very very nice and attacking and defensive play styles uh, in game i'm guessing that's just advanced like d-pad control so you know how you set like high pressure custom um a counter attack it's going to be something similar to that but that sounds good so the next one is 50 50 battles user reactions and play attributes determine the outcome of loose ball duels around the pitch thanks to the increased teammate intelligence and spatial awareness every challenge matters in the fight for possession now when i first read this i was a little bit worried about the attributes determine the outcome of loose ball duels is that really going to be paid to win on fifa 19 it already is on fifa 18 but are they going to make those that could have been playable unplayable because they don't have the spatial awareness or the correct attributes to get onto loose balls maybe reaction stat is going to be big for fifa 19 but if you read it again it says user reactions and player attributes so that's a mixture so you're telling me if it's a 50 50 ball uh, do i have to flick the stick in a certain way do i need to go into the challenge with a particular angle to come away with it that is going to be determined but it looks like they are really trying to increase the skill gap. Not only do you have the ball control and the ability to shift it now, flick it, roll it, they've got these 50-50 uh, jewels. Now, they could just be making all of this stuff up, but we've got to read into it. We've got to take it for what it is. And that is, that is interesting. So if they're really up in the teammate intelligence, then it's going to be seriously important to have the best players around the middle of the pitch, the defense, you need those high rated cards that's what it's telling me but it's always been like that so 50 50 battles take it for what it is so this next one is huge it is a game changer it looks like timed finishing get another level of control over every shot with the time finishing system which puts users in charge of how accurately they connect with the ball trigger a time finish by double tapping the shoot button when attempting a strike so that tells me that they've got rid of low drivens or in fact refined it more customization more ability and more control over the ball so the precision and timing of the second button tap determines the result of the contact perfectly timed strikes increase a shot's accuracy and power while poorly timed contacts make the shot more likely to miss the target so you're still going to be able to score if you don't know how to do the double tap which is exactly the same as fifa 17 if you don't do low drivens you can still finish but it's just more effective to take those low driven strikes so maybe with the time finishing if the ball say for example you're running onto a ball and you've just pre uh, pressed double tap really quickly and your player take the, takes the touch and it's a heavy one but you've already taken shot then it's going to be further away from his body you're going to rush the strike and you're going to spoon it so maybe you've got to really pay attention to the way your players are accepting the ball and then you can take advantage of that so there could be an overpowered mechanic where if you accept the ball you roll it to one side and then you catch that shot you never know so that's the beauty of new fifas finding out what is the overpowered mechanic and it does say uh, does say whether it's a hit from outside the box a precision header or a deft touch time finishing as a high level of control uh, to uh, to finishing in fifa 19 the only concern i have once again is servers like if it really is coming down to being able to time every single shot effectively i'm totally down for that again another thing that will be increasing the skill gap is whether or not you're actually able to take that shot because of the servers and we know that they are terrible uh precision header though i'm guessing that is just uh the same as like fifa 18s 
a downward header or maybe they're going to give us a little bit more ability as to how we go and attack the ball because you know how corners it's just rng literally 50 50 is it going to go in of course you can have some sort of skill over the way you're delivering the ball inside the box but you don't really have any control with the way that you're attacking it so that could be pretty sweet so adding uh, stuff to the headers what i'd like to see really is separating headers and volleys so give us the ability to connect with the volley every single time and then if we want to go in for a header allow us to press maybe like l l2 or something or or you know what i mean give us an input on the controller so we know that we're going to be going for the headers every single time and that's probably what they're going to be adding but this all sounds nice it's just whether or not the game can actually cope with it or it could just be another way to um revamp the low driven because everyone complains about low driven being overpowered so if that is the case, maybe there's a little bit more skill involved with low drivens. You get what I mean? So time finishing seems pretty good. And yeah, I think it's a nice addition. So the last one that we're going to be covering is real player motion technology. So remember on FIFA 18, how they brought in the specific animation, the running animation for Sterling. You had Ronaldo shopping bags. They're probably just going to be adding to that database, which is great. But I saw here enhanced animations for tactical shielding shielding remember fifa 17 every single player could shield it was literally pass shield pass shield well on fifa 18 they pretty much nerfed that completely it's just not effective to do so maybe it's going to be coming uh, back to fifa 19 but at least balance it out allow players like lukaku to be overpowered at it harry kane that's fine bringing composure to your team because they can hold on to the ball and then release it to somebody else it's just allowing the midgets the tiny tiny players to be able to shield the ball effectively i'm not about that it does also say impact balancing and physical jostling take realistic player movement responsiveness and personality to unbelievable heights the personality bit is interesting so maybe they're adding traits or they're looking at the way players are playing in real life and if you have like target men or they have their specific style of holding on to the ball then they could be inc uh, including that or maybe i'm just reading into it a little bit too much but the tactical shielding is definitely a little bit of a concern when going into fifa 19 shielding when i see shielding i just remember how bad it was for fifa 17 but like i said if they can balance it out then it would be awesome but let me know anything that you're excited about or maybe you're worried about uh, going over these uh, bullet points and the new features coming to the gameplay in fifa 19 but that's going to be it from me if you want to see more videos like this i will go over everything that ea released give you guys my opinions on it then do let me know leave a like and i'll be seeing you later today for the live stream link in the description catch you guys there team out peace